The trip is a bonding experience for all who go on it, but what makes that bond even more special is when the veteran and their guardian are a pair of father-daughter veterans themselves, just like my grandpa and my mom. I sat down with her to talk about their trip on the honor flight over 10 years ago and what it means to her now that my grandpa is no longer with us. <laughs> I remember a lot about my grandpa Ernie, his humor, his love for polka, the casino, his dog, and the many stories he would tell while visiting him in Manaqua. But the stories he never shared were the ones that happened while he served this country. Very rarely do I recall him bringing it up. I mean, he would say, you know, Marines were the best, but that was about it. My grandpa, Ernest Steinke, served in the Marines from 1951 to 1954. He was a sounds operator during the Korean War. My mom, Paula, the seventh of his eight daughters, served in the Army from 1986 to 1988. She was a 91 Alpha, a medic. The pair flew on the 12th Never Forgotten Honor Flight together on May 13th, 2013. Your grandpa was not doing very well health-wise, and um, some of my sisters thought it would probably be a good idea to try to get him on it. The two of us sat down to talk about that trip and dug out all of the pictures. That's my favorite picture. And memories from that day. He was very proud at that moment. Proud man. One monument from the trip stood out to my mom the most. Vietnam War wall. Um, it, it, when you see it all, you hear about the number of people that you know died, but when you see all of their names in print like that, um, you know, you, you get goosebumps, you feel sad. Um, yeah, takes your breath away, actually. But the trip was more than just sightseeing for her. Spending time with my dad. You know, his responses to everything, you know, sometimes he would chat and other times he was real quiet. My grandpa's favorite part wasn't necessarily what he saw either. Sharing stories and talking to the other veterans that were on, on the flight, especially towards the end when a bunch of them decided they wanted to just, just sit on the bus, you know, chit-chatting and telling Good stories and bad stories. His signature humor even shone bright during the trip with my mom and her love of reading plaques, the victim. And when I got on the bus, he's like, oh, were you reading all the plaques? And I went, yep. And he turns around to everybody and says, see, I told you. And they all thought it was so funny. A highlight for both, the mail call on the way back. Thank you for taking time away from your family and friends to fight for our freedom. <laughs> I call you my brave peeps. <laughs> On a scale from 1 to 10, how big of a hero do you think you are? Hmm. I don't know if any of them think they're heroes. I think they were just thinking they were doing their job. But I don't know. I never asked them that question. The honor flight is described as a healing experience for many veterans, my grandpa included. I think everyone wants to hear from a veteran and their experience. And I think they think people don't want to hear about it. I try to encourage them to go um, for the healing process, I think. Um, and then just to, you know, hear stories from other people, you know, so they know it is a shared experience. Like, yeah, I was feeling this way or this happened. And I think it helps them heal. And I think that's why he was able to talk more about it after that. Would you go on the flight as a chaperone again? Absolutely. In a heartbeat. It made us closer. I feel that was a turning point in our relationship where it just, we got closer. My grandpa Ernie passed away in April of 2019, but his spirit and his memory still lives on. And now that grandpa has passed away, what is it like to have such a special memory with him? It's indescribable on how I feel sometimes when I think about it. You know, it was a, it was a good, good time for us, um, but... I don't know. I just wish he would have talked more about it when he was younger um, and educated us more about it because now I appreciate what he did. And now it's, you know, it's kind of late to say, hey, thanks for your service, man. It's a memory our whole family can look back on. There you go. Yeah. And I'm forever grateful for both of their service. Semper Fi. Sadie Fisher, News 9, WAOW.